A decade ago, Congress tried to police itself by adopting the Stock Act, but a recent report finds that members of Congress often fail to follow that law. According to Insider, a financial news outlet, dozens of Capitol Hill lawmakers violated the Stock Act last year by failing to report transactions within the 45-day deadline set in federal law. Among them, Greensboro Democrat Kathy Manning. Everybody makes mistakes. The question is, do you own up to it? Do you fix it? And do you make sure you don't make the same mistake again? Manning blames an administrative error for the late filing. She and her husband made dozens of stock trades last year, such as Netflix, Microsoft, and Southwest Airlines, totaling as much as a million dollars. Some of those trades date back more than a year, far exceeding the 45-day deadline for reporting them. The day I discovered that mistake, I said, we need to file an amended return immediately. That's exactly what we did. Where a number of people are violating the, the deadline to report. Is, is that a problem? Yeah, that is a problem. The Project on Government Oversight, a nonprofit based in Washington, advocates for a ban on stock trades that would include members of Congress as well as their spouses. Why does uh, Congress need to get out of the uh, stock trading business? Well, because Congress has an unfair advantage in the stock trading business. 535 of the, of the most powerful people in the world who have access to critical non-public information that they can use to game the market in a way that the rest of us cannot. North Carolina Senator Richard Burr came under investigation for selling off as much as a million and a half dollars worth of stock after he attended a briefing on COVID during the early days of the pandemic. The Justice Department did not charge the Republican lawmaker, but Mr. Burr remains under investigation by the Securities and Exchange Commission. Recent polls show the public supports banning members of Congress from trading stocks. But lawmakers such as Representative Manning stop short of calling for an outright ban. But I believe in transparency. Do you believe, though, in banning Congress people from trading on the stock market? I don't think banning, well, let me put it this way. I think it's appropriate to, to, uh, to make sure we don't have insider trading under any circumstance. Several bills to curb or ban Congress from trading stocks are currently up for debate. Speaker Pelosi, who opposed the ban at first, now says she will let the House vote on it. In Greensboro, Bill O'Neill, WXII, 12 News.